If you are looking for an agile estimation tool, planning poker is the best. In this video, I'll explain how to use the planning poker to estimate in story points or in t-shirt size. For the basics of agile estimation, I would recommend you to watch my other video, the link in the description. So that will give you a basic understanding of what is agile estimation. So coming back to planning poker, this is the best technique where they, the team uses a deck of cards in each of the card, there will be the Agile estimation number and it will be distributed to all the members of the team. And they have to pick which estimation they choose. They have to do this individually and at the same point, they have to flip their card and see how it works. So let's see this with an example. So let's assume that there is a team of five members there and they are estimating a story. So after they discuss about the story and they get a clarity, all of them will be given a set of cards and uh, with the Fibonacci series in it. So they have to think over for some time and then uh, choose the estimation for that story. And after some time when all, everybody is done, they all flip the card at the same time. So for example, let, let's say in round one, um, three of them are coming up with five pointers, one with three and one with eight. So what happens next? So it is, as I said, it's not majority wins, so it will not go with the five. So we want to understand why one person rated three and other person rated eight. So again, it goes up for a discussion and then it goes for round two. Round two might look like this. The person who rated five went to eight and the person who rated three went to five. So again, it's like, there is a mismatch again it goes for a round of discussion until they all come up with a common consensus so this is how planning poker works best part is it can be done online as well for the virtual user so let me show you go to planningpoker.com so here you can actually start a new game just give this user story number or the sprint name or whatever right so maybe i will say sprint 10 user story xxx and then we want to set whether this is going to be a fibonacci series or a modified fibonacci series a t-shirt usually we go with the modified fibonacci series and then create game So here, if you see, uh, I've just logged in and uh, I have to invite others play, other players so that I'll be able to open up uh, this story for estimation. Now I have an option to uh, or give my voting as Suganya. So let's say, um, let me invite other players first. So to invite players, you have to click on this invite player, copy this invitation link and just pass it on to them. So if you see here, I have invited a couple of players and they all are shown here. So first let me put my word. For example, if I say that's a three pointer story, now the color changes. That means that um, this player has selected the estimation. And now let's wait for all the players to complete their estimation. Now you can see all of them has, have voted. So let me reveal cards. Now it shows that you know one of them ordered three and two of them ordered five. So there is a mismatch and it has to go for a round of discussion. So this is how planning poker works. This is really simple. Log on to planningpokeronline.com, create your own game and uh, copy the invitation link, share it on to your team and then let, let all of them log in. After that, you start voting. After you see all blues, then it means everybody has estimated and you flip the card at the same time. Where if there is a mismatch, then it goes for second round or third round. This is one of the best tools that you can use for agile estimation. Let me know on the comments box if you like it.